Welcome to the official Inkyview 3 Pro Startup Guide. Upon opening the box, the first thing you'll notice is a quick start guide with eight steps to help you get your incubator set up. Well, this is a much more extensive explanation of each of these steps to help you get your incubator ready to go with no problems. Before we start the official steps, there are a couple things we gotta take care of. First, remove all of the parts from their packaging. Be sure to get even the small parts before setting the box aside. Let's leave the protective film over the lid for now so we don't scratch it up as we get things ready. Lastly, keep the mesh floor and the turner tray inside the incubator's base. This is actually where they'll stay throughout the entire incubation process. All right, now we can move on to steps one through eight. Align the hinges on the lid and the base and snap them together. They won't be completely aligned until you hear a snapping sound. You'll notice there will be a similar noise when you move it to an upright position. This is supposed to happen. The incubator is actually designed to stay open while you work inside. To close the lid, just snap it out of this position and lay it down gently. Now that we've closed it, let's open it back up again for the next step. This is the motor mount. Slide the back of it into the two slots in the back of the base. While making sure the arm goes into the raised slot in the turner tray. This is super important because if the tray is not actually attached to the motor, the eggs won't move back and forth and your little chickies are going to get restless. Now's a great time to take off the protective coating on the lid. Nice. All right, here's where things get pretty cool. Eggs need to be kept within a certain humidity range, and that range depends on what stage the eggs are at. The target humidity levels can be found on the quick references guide on the side of the Incubator. More on that guide later. To make the humidity easy to control, the Incubview 3 Pro has three fill ports on the side of the Incubator that each lead to a different sized water trough in the base. The bigger trough you fill, the more water evaporates into the rest of the Incubator, and the greater the humidity level will be. Generally, if we fill the lowest port, the smallest trough, our humidity will stay somewhere around 35 to 50%. Filling the second port, the medium trough, keeps the humidity around 50 to 70%. And the third port, largest trough, keeps it somewhere between 70 and 80%. This is just a rough estimate though. Before putting any actual eggs in the incubator, you'll want to play around a little bit with the fill ports and water troughs to make sure you know how they work. That way when your chicks need help down the road, you'll know exactly what to do. With your incubator comes a bag of caps to go on top of the fill ports. You'll want to make sure you put these covers back on after you use the fill ports just to prevent unwanted evaporation. Note that if the humidity inside the incubator ever gets too high, you can always remove these or these small black vent caps to dissipate some of the moisture. Attach the two parts of the power cord Plug it into the back of the incubator, then into a power source. The screen of the incubator should turn on automatically. Really quick, let's just make sure the turner tray will actually move back and forth like it's supposed to. Most likely it will, but if something happened in the setup or the motor isn't turning right, we want to know that right now. Hold down the plus and minus buttons. The tray should slide gently back and forth. Note that it will not move at the same speed during the hatch. It actually moves a lot slower. In fact, you probably won't be able to see it. Right now, we just want to make sure that the motor is attached correctly. Now let the incubator sit undisturbed for one to two hours. This will give it time to get up to the correct temperature as well as stabilize the humidity, both of which take a little while. Okay, once that looks good, we can set the eggs. When placing the eggs in the turner tray, it's important to give each one just a little bit of wiggle room. Otherwise, they'll start fighting. Okay, well, not really. 
In fact, a little bit of contact is just fine. That's how it works in nature. But we don't want to pack them too tightly. Put them end to end and that'll give them plenty of room to roll back and forth, no problem. Hey, pause the video and check out this chart if you want to see how many of your egg type will fit best. The InkyView 3 Pro keeps an automatic countdown until hatch day for two reasons. One, for your reference, but two, so the incubator itself knows when to stop turning the eggs. Since we don't want our poor little birdies tripping over a moving tray as they hatch, we we'll want the tray to stop moving during lockdown. So here's how we save our birds' needs. Press the minus button or the plus button to navigate to the settings. Press enter, then enter again to select hatch timer. Now simply use the plus and minus buttons to set the appropriate number of days. Depending on what type of bird you're hatching, this will be a different one. Remember to press enter again when you're done to save it. The incubator does not save any changes made in settings unless we specifically tell it to. And that's it. Now we let the chicks do the rest themselves. Real quick though, let's talk a little bit more about the settings menu. The incubator's main screen displays the current temperature at the top, and then the current humidity and the number of days until hatch time alternating below that. Press the minus, then enter, kind of like we just did to get to the settings menu. Within settings, you can adjust the hatch timer, set the temperature, set the humidity, or view advanced settings. Hey, and guess what? All of the settings, minus the hatch timer, that depends on the egg type, are already set right where they need to be. So once we set the timer, everything else is ready to go. Now a few basic things to remember are listed on that quick references sticker we mentioned earlier. Also on that sticker is a QR code that will bring you to a bunch more additional resources on this incubator. For example, written instructions with details on specific settings, as well as a troubleshooting guide, should any problems arise. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and happy hatching. See you next time.